Okay, time to um, Lego build mode. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. fixed. That should make everyone happy. Oh, I guess so. I hope Lay's happy about it. Generator might be a problem. And he said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor in. Now keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. You're just standing there. Like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Well, okay, we'll try to mew you anything. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Did they even plug in right? Hi. Hola. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Uh, how the hell do you Fence will it? stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out. Uh, you know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Well, it's quite far. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why hmm. the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. Uh, that guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Hmm. There's one. Now the bird's gonna get infected. A bow. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Just Come on, let's sure. push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Please be dead. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. You don't know that, dude. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Are you dead? Mm, it's probably not dead. I still uh, Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You 
never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. Suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. You mean... This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. <laughs> Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee? Push, push. Holy fuck! What just happened? What the hell? Are you are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh, ah! shit! I told you what would happen, you son of a what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the Ooh, fuck is God. that? No idea! Bandit fuck. hitting. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Don't think I can't see ya! Get out of the open! Did you really think you were fucking us? Shit! Hmm. You got the are stuck in the dirt! Time. Give us the food! Get closer! I see you, dog dead! Shit. Behind the tractor! You fuck you! You lure me to the outfit! Now we'll take what we want! Oh. What about Come on. our arrangement? We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Holy ah, shit! Bro, it's sick spot, bro. Lock in, lock in. I already got one of you. Where's our food, you asshole? What the hell was people? Oh shit. What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed I down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Are you sure? Trying to lure me to the open. That's not what I might Damn. want. I see if we had an agreement. Now oh. you're fucked. Where do you think you're going? I already got one of you. Forever. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? A lot. Give us the food. Come on out. That's okay. Oh. Again. Oh, 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 Let's get out of here. Go, go, you go, lucky go. sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! <sighs> Lee! What's wrong? Uh, 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 the electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do Rambo. anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's shoe. real Elvis, charming, Dad. Elvis. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Thanks, Lee. You're the best! Yeah! You're welcome. Can I heal myself? No. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. I'll say that. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. Okay. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. They look happy. Yeah. The high good oh my god. So far. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure, in case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, 
Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those... bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Okay. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Yeah. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. No, they just don't want to talk like fuck you. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Wait, doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, lover. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once mm, in a while. Yeah. Well, I think Lily's not hey. accepting that. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Right. Okay. <clears throat> think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting up, us thrown out in our asses. I, have a, I can just cut you right now. You know what? What the hell? 
is that point here? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Hey. Lots of hay. Huh. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Let's go in. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Oh, am I? Oh, and he's not here. I can look at the that generator. Keeps a fence electrified. Never mind. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. <laughs> <coughs> 